Hi everyone, my name is John Reed and I'm from the Lunar Valley Youth Committee. Today I will be showing you how to build a birdhouse. Um, but where's all of our supplies? Uh, oh, there we go. There's some rocks, um, some bird feed, some string, some paint, some milk cartons, a stick, and cardboard. Um, you're going to be needing to use a uh, box cutter, so make sure your parents are going to be doing this. You want to cut a around two inch diameter circle from the center bottom of the milk carton in one side. This is going to be approximately where the birds will be coming in and out of. So if you know that you have some bigger birds in your area, you might want to make this a little bit bigger, um, but you might want to use the two gallon one instead. If you need a bigger bowl. So now I have both of the milk cartons done. We are going to be using a standard nail file and some tape. We're basically going to sand down the edge of this circle in order to basically make it a little bit nicer for the birds to sit on. Um, however, we're also going to be covering this with tape. So if you do not have a nail file or if you're really not able to get down that well, um, the tape will be able to cover it up. Or if you don't have any tape by you, just make sure you really sand it down nice. So, uh, yeah. And uh, don't mind the dog. Uh, he, his name's Duke, and he loves playing. He's very curious, so he probably will make a few more appearances in this video. You can also be putting the tape in a horizontal manner in order to uh, use less strips. However, this could allow for some kinking in the tape, so that is why I am putting it on in the way that you see with lengthwise being bent. And there you go. So now that both of them are done, uh, we're going to want to put in our stick or dowel, in my case, uh, through the birdhouse. We're going to want to make this go on both sides, right below the hole, because this is going to be where the bird is able to perch before going into the birdhouse. So you're going to want to cut the stick the length of the uh, milk carton or milk jug, uh, plus around two inches on the front and back, so that they have an area to uh, stand on the back and on the front, but really this going all the way through the birdhouse will allow for a lot of stability. You can either use a knife or, as you see me, using a box cutter in order to uh, kind of spin a little bit of a hole there, and then you're really just going to push through that dowel through both sides. So it shouldn't be too difficult, and you can bend it and really just push it through um, with more force, um, really just to get through there. You don't want the hole to be too big or else, again, that dowel and stick is going to be a little loose, which won't be pleasant for the birds. Next, we're going to be making a false 
bottom for our birdhouses. This is going to be using some rocks. Uh, this will add some stability. So you're really going to want to just go out and find some nice looking rocks um, about the same level. Um, they can be small, they can be big. You're just going to want to make sure that whatever you put in there will end up having a flat surface within there. You can really just put these rocks in there on both sides of the dowel. Then we're going to be cutting the cardboard to the shape of the base of the milk carton. So you can, as I am showing, milk carton on top and get a rough estimate of how to cut out the cardboard pieces. You can obviously use some bigger scissors than the one I'm using, uh, as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble, but um, you're really just going to want to make sure that this fits inside there. So however that takes, however much time that takes to just kind of curve out the edges, it doesn't need to be exact. This will just help for when we put in any bird seed because if you have bird seed in the bottom and the birds are unable to eat it, it actually will go rotten and you don't want there to be any mold or anything like that inside the birdhouses for whenever birds do come by. So this will allow it so that there's only a thin layer of bird seed that the birds will manually be able to eat in a, in a short amount of time before any mold um, can occur. So once you're actually done cutting this up, there's going to be actual slits running along one side of any standard cardboard. Um, you are going to roll it up, which I will show you soon. house and then basically you're going to be able to flatten that back out and allow for that base and you're going to do that for both of the milk cards. Next we are going to be uh, putting in the string that we will hang the birdhouses with. So in this case right it's going to be very similar to the dowels. We're going to want to make these pretty high up. You only need two. The uh, plastic at least with these cases of um, milk cartons uh, definitely get thicker the higher up you are, so that's going to be a lot more stable. Again, the rocks in the bottom are going to add a little bit of weight. You're going to want to cut about um, enough string that once you feed it through, there's going to be a foot and a half to two feet worth of string coming out of both ends. So when you do tie that together, it will hang two feet, foot and a half below the uh, tree branch. Um, or whatever you're hanging this off of. This is going to make it a lot use, really useful um, to keep squirrels from coming into your birdhouses. Next, we're going to fill the base of these with some bird seed. Um, what you're going to do is basically you can get any spoon, anything like that, and you're really just going to try and fill this up. So exactly how I'm showing you, we're going to be scooping this in um, you know, if you're using a smaller spoon than what I'm using, it should be a lot easier. Again, if you do spill any bird seed, it is bird seed. And as long as the table is clean and no other debris will get in with the bird seed, you should be able to just uh, scrape up anything that you uh, drop and pour that into the birdhouse along with it. And then finally, we are going to want to paint our birdhouses. You can paint these however you want. Uh, they're generally very creative. Um, and here we go. Here's the final product. Thank you.